Hey guys, what's going on? Back over here at Reps Fitness, and today we are talking about pressing with shoulder pain. Yeah. A very common problem amongst many, many gym goers, yeah. and it can be caused by a whole host of problems. There's a lot of things that can go on in the shoulder joint that causes pain, yeah. um, but pressing can cause a lot of problems if you're experiencing some sort of problem, whether that be a biceps tendonitis, a uh, rotator cuff impingement, it could be a labral tear, I mean, it can be a lot of things going on that can cause that pain. And today, we're hopefully, we're going to show you a few ways that will help you um, continue to, to work out, continue to do your pressing movements, but with a little bit less pain. Yeah, keep you in different uh, ranges of motion so you're not touching uh, that affected area right. and you can work around it. That's right. kind of what I'm doing now. Um, so I don't train one side of my quad, I train yeah. one leg and then I train back in. That's right. about it. So. Right. But you're still training. Oh yeah. You're not Why just not? completely, yeah. What am I going to do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to talk to you about pressing and how, do you, how you can press if you are suffering from that pain. Now, first of all, you've got to talk about what position you're pressing from. Mm -hmm. A lot of people press from a very, very poor position, yeah. meaning they don't have a lot of good extension through their thoracic spine. And if you try to press in a slouch position, yeah, you're not going to be able to get a lot of elevation of that shoulder because you're closing down the amount of space yeah. you have in the shoulder joint for your for your shoulder to, to move. You don't There's, really have the focus so you can actually get that flex and the stretch in there either. Well, you're just on top of that, yeah. Yeah, you're that, just doing that. You could be up here like, oh yeah, right there, yeah. Right, so the first thing is to yeah. extend through the thoracic spine. So you yeah. want to make sure that you get yourself in a good pushing position to begin with, keeping your chest out forward with your back extended. Yep. So thoracic extension we've talked about before. It's where you're you're not like this, but you're bowed out, kind of like Superman. Seems to be like Superman a, a, chest. a normal fashion between like all different exercises that we do in the gym, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's pretty much the position you need to be in yeah. in everything if you want to safely do it and most effectively do that exercise. So we want to do a warm up kind of to get everything loosened up. And yeah. I was doing these circles with a dumbbell, yeah. a light dumbbell. I think it was a 12, 12 pound dumbbell, really, really light, doing circles doing about 10 in one direction, 10 yeah. in another direction, just to get everything loose, mm -hmm. get the structures kind of uh, lubricated. Yeah. And uh, so sure. you're ready, ready to go. That was the first thing that we did. And then um, one thing that you did, you did, you showed how to press from the side, which mm -hmm. is, a, is, a, is a very common position for a lot of people to push from, is from that side with the elbows flared out. Yeah. The problem with that is, is it's not really the the way your shoulders are designed. Yeah. Your shoulders don't sit at an angle straight out, mm -hmm. they sit kind of at a forward angle. So you're fighting your own anatomy when you press from this exaggerated yeah. position out like that. But you can think about where are your elbows in relation to, yeah. to your torso. And by moving your elbows in, like you were doing there on the press, yeah. now it's going to be much more comfortable, especially if you have an impingement, if you have some sort of a bursitis or whatever may be going on your shoulder, that's going to change a lot of things. And the mechanics of the exercise will change and make it a lot more comfortable to push some, from. Yeah, I remember sometimes when uh, my shoulders would be so sore I couldn't even do anything, yeah. like pressing. Almost felt like it was like almost popped off, like it was separate, you know, because it was so sore underneath. Yeah, yeah. Um, or probably had a lot of inflammation. Yeah, well, stuff like that. Then you'd right. be able to like kind of work around pressing that way. Right. I mean, if you're pressing like this, it's gonna hurt, probably hurt like hell. Right. Exactly. Especially with that shoulder blade or that shoulder flex backward. You know, right. when you go into that pressing mode, their shoulders draw back. You kind of get a flex in them. Right. Um, I mean, you're gonna feel it. Right. <laughs> so, exactly. Keeping yeah. the shoulder, yeah, like keeping the shoulder blades back because the shoulder blade is obviously part of the shoulder. Yeah. And it's all connected, so you want to make sure that you want to make sure that you have that extension and that you have that good mobility yeah. through through the uh, through the scapula. Um, another fantastic way that you can train your shoulders is a landmine setup. We've talked yeah. about that before. Yeah. But that's a functional way. Yeah. And as you notice, I mean, you're pressing in front of you. I mean, if you're going to do any athletic movement, you're not going to press real wide, right? Mm -mm. You're going to press with your arms more out in front of your body yeah. like this. You're going to get a lot more leverage, a lot more power. So on top of that, it's just a more functional way to, to, yeah. to train your shoulders. Oh yeah, more flexion. In your core. More flexion, yeah, yeah. There's a lot more flexion and just a, a better position to push yeah. out of. Yeah. Uh, and then guys, you don't want to forget about hand position because yeah. hand position, you can externally rotate your hands. Yeah, jazz, jazz hands. <laughs> if you externally rotate your shoulders, you're gonna obviously create a lot more space in that joint, right? Mm -hmm. We talk about internally rotating your shoulders, so that's going to close down the space. You externally rotate, you're going to maximize the amount of space that you have for the structures to, to move. Mm -hmm. So if you're externally rotating your shoulders and pressing in that position, you might find that to be a lot more comfortable as well. Yeah. So that's another option. So hopefully you can get a good flexion out of it. Some people... 
I think you'll probably get a better, well, you'll get at least a better stretch. Yeah. You know, the flexion might be compromised yeah. a little bit, but if your alternative is completely doing away with mm -hmm. the exercise altogether, that's a much better, it's better you know, option. You know, that main shoulder, that shoulder muscle, that main shoulder muscle, that, uh, that medial. Yeah. So uh, that could be bothering you, and that's why you're up in this. This range of motion right here, but you'd still be pressing. You mm -hmm. feel that press. This is hard. This is hard. Uh, rear delts probably in there somewhere, right. especially towards the end. Right. So. And I think people with labral problems, labral will cause instability. Mm -hmm. A lot of people will feel instability as they come down. You know, coming down to that stretch or that extension mm -hmm. of the arm behind the body, that can cause a lot of problems. Like on a bench press. Yeah. If we're talking about bench pressing, getting that arm behind your body, that's the position where people are going to be like, oh. <laughs> You know, that have a labral tear and, and instability. I've done that before. I don't think I had a tear, but no, I probably didn't have a tear. Soreness going on. It was, yeah. it was pretty bad because you can only bring it down so far and you're like, oh, I think it was a rear delt tweak. Okay. Like my rear delt was sure. done. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't bench for like two weeks, right? So yeah. I mean, I had to, I was going into 135 every day. Yeah. So. And let it recoup. Yeah. And get out of that kind of acute phase and then recover it and go back cute. at it. It wasn't cute. It wasn't Not cute. cute. No. Acute. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Short term. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then finally, what you guys want to make sure you work on a lot is just rotator cuff work. Yeah. You know, I was doing those external rotation band. I like those. Yeah, turnouts. Yeah. I mean, those are great at working the, the um, external rotator cuff mm -hmm. muscles, which are three of the four rotator cuff muscles externally rotate. Something that we don't do enough of really yeah. is direct rotator cuff work. And you guys want to make sure you really get that shoulder joint uh, stable. You want to yeah. make sure that you strengthen your ro rotator, rotator cuff muscle mm -hmm. muscles. I definitely do that on uh, chest day, at least. Yeah. Um, you just to get the shoulders warmed up. I mean, you think about it, you're using one of your smallest muscle groups on one of the biggest compound moves you can do. Right, so, right. Um, you need to get some blood flow in there, make sure you're not just going and tearing stuff exactly. up. Exactly. It needs to be warm and ready. Yep. So, yep, um, exactly. Muscles are important. Yeah, even the small muscles, all yeah. muscles matter. Yeah. Your <laughs> all eye, right. Your eyes just opened up to watch this video. Guess what oh, happened? Oh, yeah. Your muscles open up your eyes so exactly um, yeah exactly <laughs> so if you guys are having problems with pain in the shoulders when you press try this try these little modifications they may seem like small modifications but they can make a huge difference and they may alleviate much if not all of your pain when you're pressing yeah hopefully most of it hopefully almost all of it yeah. so so that's it for yeah. today that's our tip for the day yeah tip for the week I do too many shoulder ones but shoulders are it's a good muscle to focus oh, on. Oh, it's a fantastic muscle. And this will really carry over to any pressing, really, yeah. whether it's bench pressing. This what we just talked about. Yeah. Putting your arms and putting your shoulders, putting your hands in that position will will make all the difference when you go to press. Parallel, Hopefully alleviate yeah, the pain. Parallel grip pressing. <laughs> yeah. With a with a uh, parallel bar. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one too. Yeah. That's a good one too. So you hope you guys have a good week. Implement some of these tips. Hope they help you out. We'll see you before long. Take care.